Today we're going to start to fill in our artwork inspired by the artist Berth Morisot. And today we're going to start by painting in our flowers. We're going to be using the warm colors for those, so red and pink, orange and also yellow. And today we want to begin with our lightest color, which is yellow. Remember, we don't want to start up, we want to just kind of dip the tip and then we're going to start filling in kind of one flower at a time. Now a classic part of Berth Morisot's painting style is that her flowers, you can actually see her brush strokes. So you kind of are going to paint short, small lines in each flower. I'm going to start with that yellow. It will dry a little bit darker. My paper is obviously orange. It's going to dry a little bit darker and you'll be able to see it better. If you get some on your black, that is fine. But you're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that color into each flower. Remember today we don't have any water. So if we're done with that first color, we're gonna clean our brush off by nicely painting in the background. Notice that I'm not grinding my brush. I'm still kind of just pretending like I'm painting. And I'm just gonna keep on painting until it looks like nothing is coming off my brush. And then I can dip into my next warm color and I'm gonna layer a few brush strokes on in those spots. It might mix a little bit with my color that is already down, which is great. I don't want to overmix, so I don't wanna just blend these two colors together and have it just become a new color. I wanna see those little brush stroke marks in my artwork. So I'm gonna keep on adding in this color and I will continue adding in the different warm colors, cleaning off my brush in the background space as I finish a color. Once you've finished with the warm colors, you can go back with a little bit of white and add little bits of white to your flowers. It, if it mixes, it'll make a tint or just a lighter version of that color. Remember, we're just dipping the tip. We don't want to put the entire brush in there. And I'm just going to add a few little kind of strokes of white in there. And as you notice, it's kind of mixing to just make some lighter warm colors. And I don't want to over mix. I kind of want to see those brush strokes. So I'll just kind of keep on adding some little highlights to make those colors really pop. And if I wanna get some of that white off my brush, I can just kinda of clean it in the background. Once the flowers are complete, we're gonna to move to the leaves. You want to use greens for these and you can use any of these kind of three greens you see here. Always start with the lightest and you can move your way to the darkest. Cleaning your brush off in the background in between colors. For the vase, you can choose any color in your tray. I would not choose black because it will blend in with the outline, but any color. And you can paint that in with different strokes and then you can add white to make lighter tints of that color. Again, we don't want to over mix. We kind of like seeing those brush strokes. That's part of the artist's style. <laughs> 